Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 84 of Let's Play Hungary Hungary. We are now Prince, or rather Emperor, Boldazar. I'm a twin. I'm craven, arbitrary, cruel, lots of nasty traits. My vassals are not so happy, so now would be a good time to lower taxes for a bit. Just to try to get some smooth succession. I need to nominate someone for successor. Definitely. Let's go by Dynasty. No. Dynasty's not probably the best way to sort. Um, although, yeah, okay, apparently my dynasty is just at the bottom for some reason. I could choose my kinsman here. Um, I could go with Vilmos. Who would be the best person to be in power if I died right this second? Probably Burnett, just because he holds the family name. So... Yeah, if I don't, uh, if they don't start voting for my guy, then we could lose the throne. They should start voting for him, uh, especially after I change the tax law. Okay, yeah, so tax laws change. Lowest opinion now is at negative nine, mostly because of short reign and my terrible traits. We're in July, so we're gonna go a little bit slower. And September first, we'll go on a grand hunt. And uh, it's very expensive to go on grand hunts with taxes really high. Um, my sister's gonna marry some guy. Sounds good. My nephew needs an educator. Look at her! Wow. My mother, she was she was something else. All right. Let's see if my brothers concubines they're not listed on here but uh, if I mean they could still spit out another kid or two if any of them were pregnant speaking of that I want to get some concubines of my own so let's go back to the character finder we're gonna continue the eugenics program search all we're gonna search by women and we want the youngest and we want to just kind of it takes a minute or so but I think it's worthwhile we got a strong theologian who's 16 um, so we're gonna go this way. Oh, she's already a concubine. I hate that. I said no marriage. Concubinage counts as marriage in my book. Um, so we need to find strongs or geniuses. Here's a strong one. Give me that one, please. Close relative. So what? It's not a big deal. It's not important. My sister shows up in the list. Interesting. We could do a little bit of a uh, little Zoroastrian funny, funny stuff. Could could marry our sister. All right, come on. Where are all the good ones? Come on. His opinion of me doesn't seem to matter. There we go. One genius. I think strong is actually a lot better than genius because it gives you health. Genius gives plus 10 opinion, but so does strong. But health gives... Strong gives plus, plus 2 health. It's really good. Oh. Interesting, I can do it right from that screen. I don't have to go to the top character. I only have one so far, right? Sorry this has taken a while. It's not my fault. These people are just dumb. 20, 20... All these people are getting kind of old. Alright, I'm not willing to go too much higher than this. Uh, this one? Come on. It's my close relative. Hmm. Herp derp. It's an, it should be an honor. You're being selected. It kind of reminds me of in Stargate SG-1 how the... Um, what are they called? 
Hey, we found one. Cool. See, it's not worth. It's still worthwhile. The uh, snakes, as uh, they like to call them. All right, two is good enough. I'm not gonna do that anymore. The uh, Guauld, they cho they choose their their hosts out of all the humans in the worlds. It's kind of like that, going around trying to find our next host. It's kind of creepy, actually. Succession is still not going well. My subjective opinions have always given me more praise than criticism. That's nice. Now, as my prestige goes up, we'll get more and more voters. If someone's trying to kill me, though, right now, or if I just died suddenly, we would lose the, lose the throne. When my wife comes of age in just a couple more months, one month, actually, we'll gain a whole bunch of extra state diplomacy, which will give us even more opinion. We're at 40 right now. And we'll see that bump up. I need to choose an ambition. Let's choose the ambition to improve intrigue. That's a defensive measure. So yeah, 40, 40 state diplomacy, and now as soon as we get married, it'll jump up. Jump up, 48. We'll take the prestige in this case. Now the lowest opinion is at uh, 3, which is um, actually lower than it was a minute ago, I thought. We could still do a bunch of bribery. But uh, part of the problem is that we just don't have very many characters who are that great. None of them are actually voting for the people that I want, so we need to pick a better nomination. Dynasty, Dynasty. It's going to have to be someone who's got good traits. Like, this guy would... Burnett here would actually probably have a better chance than... than... Uh, some of these other characters. Let's see what happens if they vote for him if I do that. Because he's got better diplomacy. Do -do. Why do they like him so much? Just because he's kind, patient, brave? Bah. He's a silly old man. Die. It's really tough to kill people like this. Hey, we managed to convert that thing. Sweet! There goes the last bastion of Catholicism. Meanwhile, the Pope congratulated us and said, Nice job! And actually, we gained 15 piety for it. <laughs> That's very silly. Okay, so this character has no tyranny, but we can't really afford tyranny at the moment. Oh, you know what we need is we need the, uh, the Release to Prisoner modifier. And I totally forgot to go on my Grand Hunt, didn't I? Damn it. All right, release prisoner. Good. Things will get smooth very, very quickly. Grand hunt, grand hunt. Don't forget, grand hunt. That's why I'm on speed, whatever it is. Grand hunt, grand hunt. Gotta wait till September. July is gonna zip by. August. Um, becoming charitable. I am already charitable. And we'll slow down here. And, uh, how are we looking on all this other stuff? I've forgotten what I was looking for. Okay, we need to just go on the hunt. Doesn't cost nearly as much now that I've lowered my, my income. Um, thank you for whatever. Sounds good. Nice job. You're amazing. I'll just admit my failure. We still don't have 2,000 po uh, prestige. I'll face it alone with my spear. I'm no longer craven. All my characters seem to come out craven. One more grand hunt. Come on, diligent. Let's do it. Let's do it. Diligent. Diligent. That was a pretty crappy hunt. Most opinions at 24. So have short rain penalty. They are not voting for that other guy. They probably want to vote for someone who's got some some clout. Someone who's a king or something. Let's try voting for the kinsman. We claim on the county of Mesembria. Yep, we want that. From my kinsman.
Yeah, give it to me. Sorry, dude. I'll give you some money for it. And some other couple kingdoms have joined us. 400 gold to buy back some opinion from him. That's okay. So this is our one of our holdings now. We'll upgrade that. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Good, good. And uh, let's just upgrade all kinds of stuff. You can't cycle through your vassals' holdings very easily, but we'll just 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 upgrade crap for them. Universities and church towns and just whatever. Everyone's gonna enjoy the wealth. Oopsies. You know what you need is a castle town. I'm gonna help him out a bit. Okay. Now, come on, vote for my areas. My kinsmen showing up. Yeah, they want to vote for a king. He'll take over as the first ranked person pretty quickly, and then the succession's secured again. What do you want? King of Syria wants to marry my niece. No. I'm gonna marry her off to. Oh, there's no kings available. This duke. Yeah, this character, his arbitrariness and cruelness just gives him a hard time. Alright, fine, whatever. Leave me alone! Spymaster's not the best. Let's make it the king of Denmark instead. Um, other than that, yeah, we've got pretty good vassals. Pretty good, pretty good council now. Very good, actually. And yeah, he's very close to being in first place. If this character would just go away, that'd be better. He's hard to... I can't do that. That would be a huge, huge penalty if I got caught murdering him. So I just need to wait for this kid to come of age, which will be in a couple months. His educator is a Grey Eminence, so he should come out with a lot more diplomacy than he has right now, which will put the succession pretty securely in our favor. When's your birthday again? December. You know, we might as well go on another couple hunts. Okay, good. So he's back in the lead again. He's tied. In the event of a tie, the I win, basically. Thank you, King. Thank you. Not my call. Mm, don't want to get injured. Not if, not if I'm not going to get a trait. Thank you. Did I just see that one of my wives is pregnant? Yeah, one of the geniuses is. And yeah, we'll go on another hunt. <laughs> Every time we go on a hunt, we get a wife pregnant. It's like we take them along with us. Oh, look at that. We can even fit a third one in. Usually three is about the max. You only have two months, so... Come on, ambitious. Come on, diligent. Nothing. Alright, well my heir is going to come of age in just a couple days here. Let's see what he ends up being. Grey Eminence. Wonderful. I bet his, his votes will skyrocket now. A lot of these guys. Maybe five or ten of them from there. Ruthenia has joined, yeah. He'll go way ahead now. And, conveniently, his name is, uh, oh, it's Gai Gaiula. I'd still like to make, um, I, I want a genius. Like, somebody, somewhere, please, in the dynasty, needs to make a genius. In fact, uh, let's take just a moment and find another, while the game's running, mind you. Let's see if in the last year or two we've found any more, uh, if any more 16-year-old geniuses have come of age. By sorting it this way, I'm making sure I, I look at characters just one time. Strong genius, or strong character. Perfect. That'll work. Son was born. My son. A hair lip. Sweet. My genius concubine. Just hair lip. 
He's not befitting of the family name. Improved our intrigue. Let's work on stewardship next. I have one stewardship, amazingly. Let's move you to here. We still have an eight domain limit, though. A daughter. She's not very important. Of course, I probably was the one that gave him the hair lip. Nice. Okay. Well, I say you know, in this video, we basically just secured the succession again. Got a young man who's coming up. Of course, he's craven, like everyone in the RPAD family. And uh, we'll go from here. So I'm going to take a break. I will see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.